on here, Fred, the boy blue, the host of Juggalo Drama Alert. Sorry, I'm not on cam right now. I'm shirtless and I just feel like shit. I, I'm still trying to get over this cold. But nevertheless, you may have heard about uh, in the news lately that there was this juggler that allegedly bullied this girl to death. And uh, we got the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, what, what should I call you? Cyrax? Is that your juggler yeah. name? Yeah. Well, it's not really my artist name, but a lot of people can, you know, know me by different names, like Virus, Blade, all kinds of stuff. So you can call me whatever, man. It's all good. All right. So, <laughs> you know, I saw your video in a Juggalo group the other day where you were like, you're being harassed. People are doxing you. They have your address. They're threatening you and your family members. Yeah, dude. Um, I mean, it's crazy. Because they think that you allegedly had bullied this girl to death who you were, you had went out with this girl before, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we dated like around like November of last year, actually. Okay. Sorry, I was getting a phone call there. Hey, you good. Uh, um, so, yeah, why do people think that it was all you who bullied this girl to commit suicide? Because of like basically we had our issues where like she would make a video attacking me, I would make a video defending myself, and it would just go on and on and on. It just would not stop. Um, unfortunately, authorities got involved, um, FBI agents got involved to try to stop it, and like they think that because one of my friends who actually stepped up. Shout out, I gotta give a shout out to this man, my boy Journeys the Journey and Clown, who's actually a very good friend of mine. Uh, he actually stepped in when she had made a video threatening me. He basically stepped in, you know, basically telling her to go kill herself to kind of show her, hey, you know, how do you like when somebody does that to you kind of deal? And they're think they're over here thinking that this person that said that is me. Um, they've, you know, like I said, like you said, you know, they've sent death threats to me. They, you know, they've, like you said, they doxed me. They got to make a model of my man, of my mom's car. Um, they got my address. They got all kinds of stuff. And I'm just like, what the heck? Like, how do you guys figure I did it? Cause the night that she had killed herself, I was actually working on an instrumental for a friend of mine. So I was a like super late trying to work on it and i fell asleep like around i think like four in the morning three in the morning somewhere around in there fell asleep woke up around like four in the afternoon i wake up to go check my youtube channel because you know i gotta wear notifications around for certain youtubers like slap train jack septic guy you know a few big names that you know some of you guys might recognize and i seen that it's notifications figured it was them you know, I went to go check. Turns out it was actually my friend Boogeyman, who a lot of you guys know from YouTube. Dude's name is Boogeyman. You guys probably know him by now through all the crap that went on. Um, he had told me that he had hoped that I was happy because Candle had killed herself. And I was in shock. I was like, what? Like, I was taken back by it. I'm like, what the heck? So I freaking call him up. I'm like, dude, like, what happened? Like, and that's when he had told me that that night, like that night before, she had unfortunately ended her life by slitting her wrist. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why? And he doesn't even know. And like, just from there, people started calling me a murderer and this and that. And like, it's, it's been an ongoing, continuous, never-ending cycle. And it's like, why? Like, what makes you guys think I had something to do with it when I was passed out that night? Like, it makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just from because you had, you had went out with this girl and you had problems and you both were attacking each other, um, people just want to point the finger at you. Um, damn. Basically, yeah, and I and it, it's stupid because like that's not only you know, you know, not only is that you know affecting my you know career life, you know, coming up in the music scene, you know, trying to get my stuff out there and rebuilding from the ground up and trying to like actually get a label to look at my shit and actually sign me so I can start making money for my family. But that's also, you know, affecting my day-to-day -day life. Like, 
you know, on the side, I do like a lot of photography type of stuff. And normally I'm outside, you know, doing photos, updating my por my uh, portfolio on Facebook. But I can't even do that because these guys have my address and me not knowing if they're going to show up. It's like, it's some crazy stuff. Yeah, pretty scary. Pretty scary shit. Yeah, it can be. Mm -hmm. Like the other day, um, on the 20th, it was actually my birthday. So I went out with my family and I was lucky to even be able to do that. Yeah. <coughs> Damn. How did the girl kill herself? Uh, like I said, you know, she had unfortunately slit her wrists and let her wrists bleed out, unfortunately. Mm hmm. Which, man, it, it is a sad thing, and I do genuinely feel bad for that happening because, you know, nobody deserves that. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I've had friends that have, you know, unfortunately, you know, that have unfortunately ended their lives and because of similar stuff, you know, like the bullying, the cyberbullying, like that stuff gets to you. Like, you know, and that's one thing that I do try to make a point of in a lot of my songs, you know, is how a lot of this stuff like the cyberbullying, the negativity, how all that can lead up, you know, to suicide and sometimes even worse stuff than that. Like it's crazy. Mm -hmm. So, um, so it, it, it couldn't have been, it wasn't just you. It had to have been other people attacking her as well. It's just, yeah, cause everything. Like, know, cause like, I know around the time that she had ended her life, I know that she was pregnant. And I really? know that, um, like, the uh, CSB or whatever they're called had threatened to take her kid because of her past. Because she did, I'll admit she was, she did have some very, not very big, but mental issues that, you know, raised a few concerns. And so I know that, you know, the fear of that, you know, had a lot to do with it. And just different stuff in general. And it's just like why point the finger at me when i wasn't the only issue there was a lot of, there was a lot going on mm -hmm. so like why point the finger at just one person when it was multiple things right mm. well damn so now you have because of that you have all these people attacking you threatening to come to your house and yeah. harm you and your family members yeah, like, and it, it's sad, too, because, you know, like, and the reason I know a lot of people get on me about this, but the reason why I do stay with my moms and my family is because back, back, like, back, back in, like, 2015, um, my brother had unfortunately lost his life to lung cancer, and then, you know, a couple of years later, my mom got hit by a car. So, like, it's hard for her to do stuff. Like, she can walk and, you know, do certain things. But because of that being hit by a car, I had, you know, I generally, you know, had to stay here at the house, help out with what I can. And then with both her and her boyfriend going into surgery soon for different things, like, it's, it's hard to be able to do, you know, certain things. And a lot of people don't get that, you know, when you're in that spot, you don't necessarily have – you know, that luxury of working a regular job. So you kind of have to make do with what you got. Yeah. So, you know, that's why, you know, I turned to my music, why I push, you know, my music a lot. Um, I, I'm actually currently um, working on a book, trying to get that published. Hopefully I'll be able to, I don't know. But, you know, that's why I push all these different things to try to make money where I can. So, you know, I can help, you know, out a little bit more than what I am right damn so you're working on a book huh yeah it's actually it's kind of like it's basically from like a first person perspective it's like a dark core type story but it's like from a first person perspective where like the reader themselves is actually the main character so it's pretty interesting so far mm, yeah it does sound interesting wow <laughs> um Okay, well, so you say you make music. How can people find your music? Um, if you go to YouTube, um, you can actually look up. Um, matter of fact, I'll actually send both of the links right now to the thing. Like, you guys can go to either one of these and find like all my stuff. Well, not just my stuff, but like, there's um, some other ones on there too. Let's see, where's the chat on this thing? All right, there you go. 
All right, the first one I'm gonna send you is to my new one. Like that's to my new channel where you guys can find. Like I've only got like two videos up because I just started rebuilding the other day. With everything going on, you know, I kind of had to unfortunately, you know, come up with a new name and whatnot and everything. And everybody keeps asking me how I came up with Cyrax. I'm like, dude, like that's one of my favorite characters from the Mortal Kombat series. Like how, <laughs> like how can you not know who Cyrax is? Mm -hmm. Like him and Sector are like two, of, like I won't say they're like two of the coolest, but they're definitely a couple of the characters within the Mortal Kombat franchise that definitely do stick out as like the, I don't want to say the weird ones, but definitely the odd ones of the bunch more or less. Cause they're not really used that much. I love the smoke robot. Yeah, dude. Smoke is a freaking beast. I fuck with smoke. Mm -hmm. But the second one is actually the main one where you can check out all my music. Um, you can check out, some new artists that are coming up, like my boy Big Celtic, um, my good friend, and actually he's pretty much like my little brother. Like I've known the guy for like two, three years now. Like he's super cool. Um, you check out my boy Bratley on there. Um, like that's basically where I mainly, you know, post my music at and stuff. So you guys can definitely check out the BSR channel for new stuff, you know, here and there throughout the days and whatnot. Um, I actually just released, surprisingly, my first new metal slash rock album very recently called Born to Bleed, which basically talks about, you know, the times that I was, you know, in a really bad relationship. I was being mentally abused, verbally abused. And in some ways, I was on that suicidal ledge. So I kind of, the whole album as a whole kind of talks about you know, what it's, you know, what I was going through in that time period and basically, you know, what was going on in my head and like how everything, you know, was in general. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, but just to sum it up, um, you know, I just wanted to do this show. So you have uh, had an, uh, yeah. a chance to explain yourself because I've seen a couple of one of my friends had made a video um, talking yeah. about you blaming you. Like it's all your fault for this uh, juggalette who killed herself when, um, you know, it, it, it had to have been a, a, a combination of things, everything yeah. going on in her life. It wasn't just you because right. you had fights with you. Different things. And like I said, you know, for everything that, you know, I did say, you know, about how, you know, I was glad that she was dead. I'll admit I did say that, but it was from the perspective of, you know, this is what she said to me. She threatened my family. She threatened my life. So, you know, that's where I was coming from with that perspective. And when I talked to her boyfriend, Paul, like I said, he was a good friend of mine. Like, he completely understood. He's like, dude, I had no idea. And that went on. And that's when I was like, yeah, like, this is what happened. Before you guys got together, this is what went down. And that's mm -hmm. why I said, you know, that that time period when I was, like, super pissed and I made that video you know, stating that I was glad that she was dead. I was coming from that perspective of, you know, when somebody, you know, threatens your family or that person that, you know, kills a family member is finally dead. Like, that's where I was coming from was that perspective of, you know, just generally a normal person, you know, being scared and fearing for your family's life kind of deal. Yeah, if it was your fault, then I'm sure there would have been legal action taken. Oh, but. yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There would have been by now. Mm-hmm. Because it's been over a year, so obviously there would have been something done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I guess I just uh, want to wrap it up. Um, thanks for being on the show. Uh, That's it, man. Yourself. Always, always happy to help out where I can, man. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry you're going through this. You know, people have your address and your family's information and shit like that. It must be pretty scary. Um, yeah, and you shouldn't have to live in fear tough, like that. It's tough, but, you know, I'm doing what I can to get through. Mm hmm Yeah, well, um, I don't know. I guess try to keep your head up, homie. Um, thanks for being on the show. I'm going to go ahead and end this. I'll talk to you on Facebook. All right, man. Sounds good, bro. All right, take it easy, man. Yeah, me too, man. Thanks for having me on, dude. Yep, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Peace.